Alright, so I'm going to show you how to uh, make a world with Lunar Magic in Super Mario World. So first you need the download of Super Mario World plus an emulator. And second, you need Lunar Magic itself. You need to go to Open ROM. And you need to find your ROM. And this will open. Now you have two different things. The tile editing mode and the sprite editing mode. Sprites are the enemies and some blocks. Really to make a clean scrap of the world, you just remove everything. This is how I made my old one but I accidentally deleted it so I don't have it anymore. So. And there are two things, add objects and add sprites. With add objects, you give a list. But you can also use the DreadMac 16, which I really don't recommend sometimes, but sometimes you need it. Like with upside down tiles and stuff. Uh, so just start making a simple level. I haven't used Lunar Magic in forever. And then you can also click it down and spread it. It does go on forever, so be careful. But there's also other things to make it really simple. Instead of doing all that in standard objects, there is something that's just a grass block and it helps. Later on I'll explain how to um, make pipes and stuff. Right here. It's near the bottom and use it for things. Things. That's that's pretty um, helpful. Use it for floor tiles and this cannot spread forever. Unlike the other one. This you would use for going up. Seen in most levels. But be sure not to make it too high like that. Or else people can't get over it. Unless you want to make a tricky level. Um, hold on a second. <laughs> Oop. Oop, there we go. What am I doing? That's what I did wrong. Oops, there we go. I really lost right now because I don't remember where everything is. So I'm gonna use Lunar Magic in forever. Now this works exactly like the real game, but with some things like the falling platforms, you can't use, but I'll get into that later. Alright, making slopes. And also, if you want to make your level really high, you'll have to change the properties and change it to vertical scroll at will. You can also change the music, uh, like a castle, which I don't recommend. And you can also change the time. Index, uh, you shouldn't use that. And number of screens, this is the, la the number of full screens you can use and level modes. Not sure what that does, but I used to. I wish I did now, because it's actually a really helpful time for it. There we go. So I'm just making like a simple level. Um set like full of bills and stuff. Mm -hmm. But those will just be for decoration if you don't add something to it. Which I will get into that too. Um, there we go. Make them small. And you'll also need some at the top of the list. No, it's not. You will need. 
derp der. I am derping right now. You'll need this. Don't worry, that is a block and standard, but... And you can move this around freely as well. It's just like that. You know, it only goes down to that certain point that I'm not going to. The bottom. So you don't need to worry about that. You can walk on it, but you can't see it, so it's not really recommended. With a flower inside, so... Put that right here. And if this is too big, you know, you just add this. Just run up. Uh... So you add some clouds. Go to both of those with... Some of them, I should say. Uh, Alright, and then going back to standard objects, you'll need to change a lot. Coins, you know, just like little tiny coins. Make them in a row. Who cares where you put them? Alright. Um, pipes. I'll get to that in a different part actually. Alright. Put that right there. And then that right here. It's just add that. Right here I'll say. Um you can copy things you have already placed, which is quite nice. And you also cannot drag these down, I'm pretty sure. Yes, you can. Okay. Don't listen to me. Now, to make these, you need to make extended objects, where the goal should be hiding somewhere. No, it's not. Okay. Mm. Oh, there it is. Ignore the bottom part. I don't know what that's about, but really to ignore it, just like, go like that. You know? And then, because if you don't make it the right size, then it'll look weird. Now, adding sprites is a totally different thing. You'll have to go to sprite editing mode first. And from here on, you could just add sprites. Yeah. Yeah. Um, try not to put them on the floor. Yeah. It's like blue Koopas, which didn't really appear in the game until after. Rex, one of my favorite enemies. Which would be in tile set specific sprites. Okay. Tile set specific sprites are when you're in certain modes. Yoshi eggs always work, but as you can see, some of these are glitched out, like boss fireball. Those would only work in castles, like castle type mode areas, and all these different levels have modes or index. That now I'm starting to remember. Index changes the level, like the way the level is. Now if I could try to find Rex, that'd be nice. Let's just put this and this. See, this is part of the this level type. So I could use that. Rex, where are you? There you are. You're my favorite. There. Trying to make it too close. And all the others are kind of just like you see, this would only be in a boo house. And finally, you can also add custom collection sprites, which I haven't figured out yet, really. Alright, there's secret gold point and the standard gold point. Secret gold points would only work if you changed the world map style, which I didn't never really got into. I only changed levels. But if you know a level that has a secret goal, then you might want to change it. 
then you could put it anywhere in the level, but for now we'll have to use a standard goal. This will work like a normal goal, like always. And then there we go. What is that like one little pixel in there? There we go. There we go. Um, that bothers me, but I'll ignore it. First you have to save. Next you'd want to open level numbers. I'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, no, not open next level or open level file. No. What am I doing? Alright, emulator. Oops. Set up emulator. You'll need to find it, search for it, wherever you th it is. Mine's right there. Then you press OK. Then you go back to emulator and you run ROM and emulator. This will open up. Ooh. I don't care. Let's just put that on full screen. This may be a little bit laggy because I'm running Camtasia with my v very bad graphic, not graphics, but processor. So you can also change this one. So one player game. I don't care about Dinosaur Land. So. Oh, one second. Um. Configure. Do -do -do. Devices, gamepad, whatever. You change it for mouse, but um, I won't get into that right now. I'm totally not prepared for this. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. No. Oh, input. There we go. Uh... Down, left, right. Oh. Oops. A, B, X, Y, and whatever. There we go. And if I'm correct, yep. Yeah, it's just like, and it works. I didn't give enough space. What? Oh, dang it. I did it wrong. Ah! Yes. No! No, ah, they turn around. You have to put them as a specific um object. See this what um you'll do a lot in lunar magic. I'm not joking. Alrighty then. Let me just make that one more. There we go. And um, there. You can go die. Save. It doesn't warn you about saving, so careful. Because if you're going to save in something, it won't be very happy. No, it won't. Alright. <laughs> Let's. Let's redo this. Move. Ah, there we go. Enemies where you place them, you know. Oh yes, I didn't change the bull bills back.
<laughs> you know, it works like normal level. You can go back to it if you want. You can change things on the world map, like if you go to it, you can't go back to it, such as Yoshi's, uh, um, Yoshi's house. I made it in my older game that, like, it's Preparation House, and it gives you a whole bunch of lives. It's kind of like Switch Palace. Once you go to it, you can't really, you know. And so this is really the basics. And that's it, so I'll get back to you next time to do all the other cool things that Lunar Magic does.